Aiden! Ina. And you, too. Oh, I'm so glad we finally found you. Yeah. So, uh, what's with the outfit? Crawford gave it to me. And the old one was from Resurgent Arc, so... Ugh. Gotcha. Huh? Y you mean it? There you are, man. Glenn. I'm sorry. I'll get going. You know where it is? Yeah. Way ahead of you on that one. Look, I have my own feelings on the matter. But I can't deny how much you three have helped. I'll take care of everything. Don't worry. I just hope she doesn't bottle everything up like she always does. I know Glenn said not to worry, but I think we should check in sometimes. I know you care about her too. Just enlisted. They are going to be my new trainees. I decided to take that position Crawford offered me. And they took the initiative to come say hi before training officially begins. They were talking about what an honor it is to learn from me and stuff. Crazy, huh? Wait, no! You're making me blush. <laughs> so, they were telling me something. Apparently, we're pretty famous. You, me, and Manon. I guess word's gotten around about our experiences all over Halfa. It's like we're heroes or something. I mean, it's probably because Crawford's always exaggerating, but still. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess we do. It's just a lot of pressure. Especially considering I've just barely been keeping up with you and Manon. I wouldn't even know what to do if people looked up to me. I mean, I'm really not all that special. But, really? I had no idea you felt that way. Uh, um... But, yeah, anyway... We have to make sure that we live up to their expectations of us, right? I'll try to be an instructor worthy of the stories.
stay there. You couldn't have picked a better time. Have you happened to notice anything off about Ina lately? I think a part of her still isn't fully committed. You might have already heard, but we asked Ina to be an instructor for our new training corps. This will be her first time on the teaching side of things. I'm sure she's gotta be nervous. But I'll be right by her side, at least to start. Well, I'll help her as much as I can. We've had a lot more volunteers for the battle group since the uh, Starless showed up. It's actually got us a little short on instructors. So, Ina stepping up like this is a really big help. Her enthusiasm for everything is infectious. And she's got tons of combat experience too. Truth be told, I think she'd make a great leader. <laughs> Remember when she couldn't even handle her weapon? Hard to imagine that's the same gal. My hope is that she'll pass her experience on to the next generation. But... I guess we gotta see how this shakes out first. Just... let me know if anything seems off with her. Alright. training new recruits and all, I thought I'd get myself a new outfit. I figured I should at least try to look like an instructor. So yeah, this is the look. You mean it? Oh, thanks. That means a lot. Honestly, I'm still pretty nervous. I mean... I've never taught anything to anyone. I just hope I don't totally bomb. Like, will the recruits even take me seriously? Well, no matter what role I'm in, I still want to help out as much as I possibly can. So there's nothing to do but my best, right? Especially with Manon working so hard. I need to keep up. Anyway, I better get to it. Time to show these youngsters what I've got. <laughs>
success! You... you scared me! How do you always manage to be so sneaky? Anyway, I heard about Ina. Training new recruits will be new territory for her. I just hope she'll be alright. But she's really good at adapting, so she'll probably be fine. I hope I can keep up with her progress. Well, when I was in Lucille, I thought I knew everything there was to know about Halfa. But now I feel like there's more that I don't know. Halfa's ecosystem is designed for stability, even without Lucille's monitoring. And that system is entirely automated, so even we didn't understand how it worked. And that goes for the dolls produced on Halfa, too. Not right away. I plan to find out more about the regional power grids. I also need to learn more about the doll's production process. It's really the least that I can do. But don't worry about me. I think Ina needs your help more than I do. You... I... I'm okay, really. I better go now. Let's both keep at it.
fancy seeing you here. Have you come to see Manon? I'm afraid you've just missed her. She's out on a survey at the moment. I haven't noticed any issues. A lot of the researchers didn't trust her at first, but they're coming around. <sighs> it's hard not to, given how much she contributes. That said, Manon seems to be having a hard time figuring out where she fits in. The more she works with her team, though, the easier that should become. By the way, do you happen to know anything about that mysterious power of hers? Yeah. You mean, you never noticed? I'm talking about the power she used during the battle with Niels Dia. Do you remember? Whatever it was, it was incredibly strong. Right, I see. Apparently, she's been using this power constantly while out on surveys. All to help other team members and anyone else nearby. So far, it seems to have prevented any fatalities. But I can't help but worry a little. Commander Glenn also used to lead from the front, mowing down all enemies in his path. As if that might numb the pain of losing Hibana. I get the same sort of feeling from Manon now. She's more likely to open up to you than to me. If you could talk to her about it. It'd be much appreciated.